previous lesson, we talked about an absolute cell reference. And in this lesson, I want to talk about a mixed cell reference, which instead of wrapping dollar signs around the column letter and the row number to lock a cell down completely, we only want to lock a portion of that, whether it be a row number or a column letter. And I'm going to show you an example of where you might use this. So here I have the same spreadsheet we were talking about before, let's say sales, week one, two, three, four, for certain salespeople. And then I want to calculate how much they're owed in commission. Now, in the previous example, we had one commission percent for everybody. So everyone was getting the same percentage. In this example, different salespeople get a different commission percent. And I'd like to accommodate that in the formula. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to press equals. I'd like to take this cell, my first sales uh, for week one for Alex. And I'm going to multiply that by Alex's commission percent, which is an H2. I'm going to press enter. And lo and behold, it gives me my correct result. However, when I start copying this formula or filling it down, okay, you'll notice that cell references are going to shift. Now, in this case, it's actually not a problem. So if I go to this next one, you'll see it's gone B3 times H3. Well, that's perfect. There's this column, or this cell, sorry, times this cell, which is their commission percent. Everything's great. However, when I start to fill across, remember that shifts over my column reference. Well, if I check this first one here, it's C2 times I2, I have a problem. It's shifting out of my column H over into column I. This one's shifting out of my column B into C, and this is good. I want this to happen because this is the figures for week two. However, the commission is always in column H in this particular spreadsheet. So we need to modify our formula, and here's how we do that. I'm going to go into editing the formula by double-clicking. And then I'm going to place the dollar sign in front of the aspect of that cell reference that I want to lock. So if I want it to lock column H, never jump out of column H, well then I'd put dollar sign H2. I would not put a dollar sign in front of row 2 because that's going to isolate it to only be in this row. And I'd like it to shift down for each of the different salespeople. So this is called a mixed cell reference. You'll notice now, if I fill it down, I'm going to get the same results. And as I fill it across, when we go look at these formulas, again, look at the formula bar, see it's remained in column H. So the commission percent is sitting there in column H. It's never changing, whereas the other ones are switching to go into week one, week two, week three, week four. So this is something called a mixed cell reference. It can be useful in a, a variety of situations in Excel. And it's adding a dollar sign in front of the, the aspect of the cell reference that you'd like to lock. So give it a try.